but cancelled his movement mid-air and landed right back in front of Sabretooth and started mixing them but he gives him the bruh I can't even break it down it's just too clean we start the scene with Wolverine running up with these no-name mutants like look at these two bummy twins in the this? back I just know their powers hey, are wet. like reading each other's minds or something but how is that gonna stop me from spinning their jaw but I just wanna know and all of you have powers but didn't want to help break box it's just waiting just for them to see a certain someone post up at the door play his music hold on who is this meant to be oh nah 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 don't tell me this is meant to be Deadpool. They gave Boy the shiniest head with these white designs in his chest. They sold the design so badly, the real Deadpool had to go back and kill him. How do you sell off this cold introduction? Peep this. He steps up the elevator swinging that sword with maximum swag, blocking all the bullets and deflecting them. But this African uncle in the back works out the piece thinking he caught Bro lacking. Just for him to see the reflection of the guy in his sword and cut to put it clean in half. Then they hit the two guys behind him. Bro, this is Deadpool right here. Just for him to run up on these bombs and leap up here and then with a spin move. Stabbing them dead in their chest with this devious smirk. Plus he will speak one of the Nigerian languages later in the film. He will definitely get in jiggy to Afrobeats. We rock with him, bro. But Wolverine steps up automatically, whipping out the claws thinking he's him. But as soon as he saw the fist katanas, all of a sudden he wants to make conversation. Toma, wait, is that you? And bro's pulling the Kawhi Leonard face. Like, bro, what do you want him to say back? They already put flex tape over his mouth. So obviously he ain't trying to talk, doing that slow walk up. And because Wolverine stays yapping, he starts charging in, flying in with the weave. spinning kick. Look at the weave Wolverine pulled, bro. He really had him perplexed. Really had my goat back paddling with the little stab combo. Before Wolverine switches spots with bro, swinging the overhand which got blocked. Then going low with the right stabbing him. He pulled the claw out. Just for that wound to heal automatically. Huh? Had bro Mark went to himself. Cause he really a one trick pony. The claws is all he has. Before Deadpool hits him with the Yonkey Splunky? This video game combo. Like, this is dumb as hell. Let me break it down for you. He spins to the right. But attacks from the left. And his follow up slash did not even hit. Had Wolverine doing twists in the air. But he instantly slides him with a slash. Which Wolverine leaped over. And I don't know when he got up. But he should have stayed down. He loses an aura by the second, getting blocked and slashed across his back. With veins popping and one eye slightly closed and everything. Like damn, your goat is getting washed. He ain't my goat no more. Because my goat could never be pulling this face. He's getting coached right now. Before really getting smacked with an insane flip push kick. But deep this play, he does a little backflip and poses, trying to recover his aura. Just to be seen running away in the next scene. Like what was the point of the move? You are a loser. He gets to the top of this nuclear plant thing and is so happy for himself, automatically taunting. But bro set back, stand on that, instantly teleporting behind them. And Wolverine's looking like oh he's right behind me, ain't he? Oh, and Wolverine putting that Toji face before instantly getting back to boxing, swinging on bro. But he's gone again. Really had Wolverine teetering on the edge like a Smash Bros. before he teleports in again and got his hip blocked just to stab Wolverine. But they had the audacity to hit us with a zoom out shot, so lock in and pay attention. Because we about to zoom in and enhance. Okay, okay, let's go. Living Puddle swung our head kick, which had my boy Wolverine leaning back dodging it. Before throwing the overhand, which got ducked. Then a downwards punch, we got blocked. But he's still on the offensive, swinging the right hook before catching Bro in this crazy Tekken throw. April all sorts of lumbar issues. He's at least 500 years old. You gotta cut him some slack. When I came down. But he rolled over trying to sweep the feet just to get back flipped on and two blades shoved in his back. Got that generic villain inside. Could he put the backdrop POV angle on his screen? Before typing in this whack code talking about decapitate. Like why would he even do this in the first place? It's kinda dumb. Like wouldn't you just code him to attack Wolverine on sight and you know aim for his neck? Like isn't that like something you could write into the code? And you know all people be typing slow as hell. Probably taking like 20 minutes to write that thing right there. I don't even care. But anyway, he's really about to swing for that neck. Just to get smacked off as a D1 crash out has just entered the building. AKA Sabretooth. And this is the definition of brotherly love. They were boxing each other for the whole movie. He really fake killed your girlfriend for no reason and really killed all your friends. But as soon as the op pulled up, he back in his bro. It's just too beautiful. But they trying to have a moment, but Deadpool's not trying to hear him. 
teleporting in between them, hitting him with the combo breaker before flip kick and move ream. But Saber 2 tries to swing on him, just for Bro to teleport out of there. So then boys say back to back. But unfortunately, they set themselves up for the worst being I've ever seen. Deep this right here. He does some gymnastics in front of Wolverine. Had Bro talking about I got him, just for Saber Tooth to tell Bro to stop capping, as Deadpool is in front of him. But he said, I'm not in front of none of you. Flipping over both of them, but cancelled his movement mid air. And landing right back in front of Saber Tooth and started mixing them. But he hears from the. Bro, I can't even break it down, it's just too clean. Hold on, hold on, let me chill, let me chill, let me get a second. I'm gonna I'm try and break I'm gonna try and break it down for you boys in the back. He dances with Sabretooth and then throws an overhead kick, which obviously won't hit him, right? He wasn't even aiming for bro. As he carried the momentum through the teleportation and spun Wolverine's draw instead before coming back for Sabretooth, telling that boy to get up with the flip kick. Then teleports back to Wolverine sweeping his feet. But Sabretooth has got to lock in, trying to check up on his low bro, just to get hit with the most treacherous head kick. But Sabretooth finally caught bro, grabbing him by the neck. But he does not care, shoving his whole katana in his sternum. But these boys said, nah, he's nice. We jumping him. Really turned bro around to get stabbed by Wolverine. But he said, bet, say no more, and dipped out the spot. And they looking over at him like, no way his bag is this deep. And he's looking back at them like, this ain't a normal bag. This really a suitcase. Whipping out the laser eyes, have man them doing a Mario. And they're looking back over there, begging for bro to re-engage. But he's nah, sitting over there, I'm letting the rip again. Wolverine really ripped out the X, blocking the beam. And I'm thinking, bro, aim anywhere but his hands. Well, that's just lazy writing. But Sabretooth is on the prowl, pulling up on Deadpool like a straight beast. Like this could be tough in certain settings. And then you got that one guy that was on the leash thinking he was him. But Wolverine deflects the beam, got Deadpool soaring through the air. But he nearly fell off, using the claws to stay up. And Sabretooth needs to up his stealth stats. Really had the most obvious pull up, getting snapped out the air, and teleported right in front of him, using the beam from point blank range? Really shooting him right in his. Nah. This photo right here is crazy. As Wolverine's really soaring above, bro, with the molten claws, and really cut his neck smooth like butter, and said, hold on, I need my aura back. Kicking, bro, off the ledge, and finally recovered his aura. There we go. I really hate villains like fake Deadpool over here, who can never go out gracefully, as he really destroyed the whole pillar as he fell. And had the audacity to act like he was about to come back at the end of the movie? I always. We just lucky these movies failed, or we would have never gotten the actual Deadpool. And I don't know when this video drops, but Deadpool and Wolverine is gonna be lit. Guess who just came back from the Diddy Cup? I mean, the Deadpool movie. And let me give you a quick spoiler free rundown before I give my opinion on the film. An emphasis on spoiler free. I'm, I'm a, it's gonna be so spoiler free, you won't even know there's spoilers in it. The rundown is that Deadpool failed to be an Avenger and moved timelines to live a normal life. However, due to Wolverine's death and Logan, his timeline is fading away, making Deadpool the only one who can save his universe. That's that's like that's like the basis of it. And let me say, it was gas, it was clean. You, you you know it was gonna be gas, bro. You know it was gonna be gas. I'm gonna say top five Marvel movies since 2020, hands down. But as a Deadpool movie, it's a Deadpool movie in the same way Spider-Man No Way Home was a Spider-Man movie, if you get what I'm trying to say. You put pivotal characters on the side for Wolverine and many other cameos I won't spoil, making it feel much less like the Deadpool movies before it, and much more like these generic cameo Marvel movies. But the script was great, and it's Deadpool, so you know it's going to be automatically funny, as they use the tools given to them by the new Marvel Universe to make a great movie. So I have to give Deadpool and Wolverine a 7.5 out of 10, bro. It's, it's a great movie and I, I would recommend it. 